Hello everybody and welcome back to Paris 1401 um, to Balkan Delaney, our grave digger, the grave digger of Paris. And yeah, business is booming in Paris. Lots of dead people, lots of bones and thus our business is prospering at the moment at least as long as we have enough bones everything is fine because with the bones we're making the bone dust and the bone glue and with that we can make our bone bracelets and that's exactly what is happening right now four people are working on that we got a lot of bone bracelets available at the moment what we can also see here is the skull lamp would be a possibility then at some point which we can sell for 200 already then in Ile de la Cité or Cité and this would be quite profitable then but we haven't unlocked that yet because we are still the most basic of all grave diggers two of my employees are continuing to dig the graves here of the dead getting some bones out of it i don't know any no one minds really in omyo or amien and that's basically it what we can do right now valken is still level one he's 18 now so he is getting older as well of course but 18 is still fine we don't need to find a wifey just yet Let's just focus a bit on the money-making prospect, as we can see, coming close to level 2 then as well. Um, and yeah, we can start day with a bit of profit. So let's use Valkin here, um, selling the bone bracelets, right? That's 10 of them. Really can't get away from here right now. And let's get so. to the market there, because I want to level up my, my profession, my professional yes. skills as a grave digger. So once again, we get there, as we can see, someone there is on the market, it's a child, it seems. Yep, she's five, she's just, I don't know, playing around here. And that's 800, very good. So we are at 1,570 coin now. Valkin, you can go back to business. And what we do with that kind of money is we are going to look at our skill tree. As we can see, where are we right now? We are here, Grave Digger level one. I want to go to Grave Digger level two, this gives us the skull lamp. We could also go for one of the other two professions in our roguery skill line at the moment. That is the minstrel and that is the robber. With the robber we can make a robber camp and rob people and with the minstrel we can make a minstrel's tent and we'll play music and stuff like that. No idea how this fits together with the grave digger but we might actually get our minstrels up if we want to. Before we can go with that though because these need a new building and we are at the building limit at the moment of one building. We need to raise that. How do we raise that? By getting a new title. We have the commoner title. At the moment we are surf, so that's really the lowest title here, right? But this one here, serfs are by far the most frequently represented people of our time. They're forced to labor for their masters and must also hand over a portion of what they earn, thus helping to fund the nobility and the clergy. And here we have the commoner then. So the commoners are not directly bonded labor, as they are more or less allowed to travel more freely through the countryside. However, most of the common people rent a plot of land from a landlord. And with this one here, we could then drive our workers, which is pretty cool. So let's claim this title, it cost me a thousand coin. Um, there we have it. So we have purchased the first title and we have unlocked these actions here. So we can drive the workers now, that is pretty cool. So you can give your lazy employees a verbal kick in the behind and they may work more quickly for a period of time. We also get a bit of experience points with that. We can also stack boxes at the market now for some <laughs> experience points. That is for the children though, however. Um, and we can also make church donations now. That is pretty important. So we can spend 200 coin to get 38 influence. Influence is very important because we need that basically for a lot of skills um, and for our political office system, right? So that's influence. Um, so we got this title now. What we can do, I want to use that right away and that is drive my workers. So that is another thing that we have here, the action points that are becoming increasingly more important the higher level we are. Um, so what we have here, for example, is we could visit the inn that costs me 75 coin. We would get some rewards out of it. Um, that would be something. If we are sick, we could go to the doctor, to the medic. We could also go to the barber, you know, raising our uh, charisma a bit, but it cost me 75 um, on the coin. There are the elite or the aggressive actions. Where is my driving the workers? There it should be. Oh, we can also boast about our achievements. This gives me five influence. Let's do this. Yeah. We are a successful grave digger. So there we are now on the market and telling everyone how great we are as a grave digger. Right? This gives me then some experience points and some influence. Why not? We're actually looking not so bad, right? At the moment. Just remember this moment 
because we're, we're going some places. Um, yeah, while he's doing that, where is the drive the workers? Alright, there it is. Um, with this, we can then... We also get some 22 experience points with that. But first of all, we need to wait for this guy here to finish boasting about his achievements. He should be finished now soon. There it is. 5 influence and 18 experience points. And we leveled up with that. Let's drive my workers in the crypt. Certainly. And while he's doing that, let's have a look. We get a new attribute point. Um, since we have a lot of charisma already, this is very important for basically all social matters. Um, we could go, for example, so this is the responsiveness of our body, intelligence, concentrate and general knowledge, um, and the perception. The higher the value, the better the character perceives the environment and the earlier they can sense danger. Not so important right now because I don't expect any attacks on us at the moment. Of course, you can attack others as well. You can get your own military army up and running um, and then attack your opponents and kill them even. But the problem here is that if someone sees that, they have a proof against you and you could, become, uh, you could get dragged to court um, before the judges and they can judge up with you and if you go to prison or if you even get hanged and your character dies the game is over so he is now driving his workers as we can see that was successful so we get three percent more productivity for now um in the the crypt here also some experience points Balkan, you can continue now getting our bone bracelets up and running very good and as we can see we got some 10 there again and yeah i still need to Engaged. I think I'm going with intelligence. This gives me more um, general knowledge and I think it also helps me leveling up faster. By the way, our fertility is at 183%. <laughs> I guess digging bones is rather yeah, dr a driving force in the bedroom. Ah, the barber. It's incredible. So many people here waiting on that. As we are in our fine town of Amyon. And it is growing, the town. We get more buildings. There we got now a craftsman hut as well. So a craftsperson has arrived. There is a pottery hut. There are people are making some pottery out of it and selling it on the market. So we could purchase that for a home, for ourselves, as a gift um, that we can give to other people or for, well, to make our home more lively. And look at the graphics. Fantastic, the lightning. As we are in this medieval town here. Alrighty, the buff is over. That was quick. But I hope we made some profit out of that. Let's sell the bone bracelets. With that, we can go for our next profession, I think. Something that we definitely should be doing. So, Valken. Oh, why can Valken not do that? Oh, he's digging bones at the moment at the, at the, the cemetery. How low can you go? Alright, now we have him again and we bring the, the, the goods to the market there. By the way, we don't have to sell on this market necessarily. There are other markets and all of them have different prices. So, you never know where the price is the highest. You could also make money by trading the goods from one market to the other if you're familiar with all the prices in this game. That is not our goal for now though. So, we're just selling at the market here because the margin is not that big usually for the beginning goods. Right, so we get another 1,100 coin out of that. And okay, we can go cool. back to the crypt and continue. Now, we do have a bit more money again. 1,800. And we can use this amount to go for our next profession. I was thinking very hard which one I want to take. Robbering or Minstrel. The problem is with the Robbering. For now, in the beginning, um, you know, we get attacked quite frequently if we rob other people. So, there are knights. Um, kind of like the police force, the guardians or the guards and you might get into a fight too early and I really don't want to risk dying at some point as long as we don't have any air. So we're going for the minstrel. We're making some music, right? The music of the grave sounds from the grave. And this costs us 1000. Now we have unlocked it and thus we have a new building, the minstrel tent. Um, the minstrel tent cost me 1200, so that is of course something that we can't build yet now and you can only build it in the village the same with the grave digger crypt these are buildings you can only build in villages not in the big city of paris itself which is looking quite empty at the moment why because no one basically can afford anything in here at the moment we can't do that my opponents cannot do that the only thing is that we can see some dynasty members here of other dynasties um walking around here trading or finding someone they can 
um, marry and stuff like that, right? But building in the city itself, you need the citizen title for that and citizen business buildings that we don't have at the moment. Now, we have some 800 coin. We have something in the front store. No one likes to purchase my bone bracelets. Not at the moment anyway. All right, the day is coming to an end and I just want to listen to these beautiful soundtracks in the background while we watch our grave digger. Those guys here are quite bountiful. Oh, lots of them here, look at that. A lot of people are working in the lumber yard. And let's sell. Vulcan is here, right? Yes, we got some 20 bone bracelets. I'm going to keep those two there just in case someone wants to purchase that. Perhaps we get some regular customers then if they see that there's something in store. But I really want to go for, um, you know, this skull lamp here. The skull lamp, oh, we need to be a yeoman for that. So we need to have this new title there before we can upgrade our graveyard, our, our crypt. 19 for 1,400. It's a bit of money there. It's not much, but it's enough. It's enough so that we can afford our next building. Good. Though I don't want to do that before the day is over because we have to pay the wages still and I don't want to risk getting into the negative there. But we can build our next building now. We have the money for it. Bear in mind the 1,200 is not the only thing. We also need to employ some people. They cost another 400 um, before we can get anything there working and operational. So I think on the next day we should be doing that. Second day is coming to an end. My crypt is working fine. We can also have a look at our budget book there and just see how profitable this building here is at the moment. We made a revenue of 800 um, at the moment. We had 2,000 coin expenses. 800 of that was for the, uh, the wages and 1,100 was for the upgrades. Remember the 600 alone for the third work, uh, work slot, the fourth work slot and also the front storage upgrade. So in that case, we made a bit of a profit there at the moment, but not much. And we need to be very careful there. You really can't go into the negatives because otherwise the game is over then. Well, it's nighttime though. It's also fighting. Look at that. He, I think he's a robber. Yeah, look at that. So he was robbing Henri now. Oh, poor Henri. This is the guy that we saw in the beginning. He could just got robbed. The poor guy. He's still single as well. He's 26. Um, he's got a copper bracelet though. That is new. But poor Henri, he's lying on the ground now. Or more. I really would like to do something good for him, but I can't really. I don't want to give him any money though. And yeah, he is, as we can see, he's not dead. So he is only down to 1 HP and he's now regenerating to 11. Um, and then up to the half of it and then he can continue going again. If that happens to us, by the way, uh, we would also be lying there around for half a day and would be useless. So we really don't want that at the moment. But that's the problem if you are a, um, you know, a robber, you have to fight. And you have to be good at it, otherwise you're going down. Now let's just see. It is, we have paid the wages. Um, we can now go for our next building. And that is the minstrel tent. There we have it. Um, the string artist, attractive stage performers, sensitive love songs. Yeah, let's call it like that. <laughs> and we need to decide once again where we want to have this building. As we can see, for example, here we cannot. Right, city is not uh, well, able uh, available for us yet. Um, we also cannot build it too far away because this is rather the area for robber camps, um, the country roads. Um, but only in the villages we can build this one. And let's decide where um, the minstrel has a stage. So it might be a good idea to have it a bit central, right? Because people can then watch. Um, and having it here, for example, might be something. Plus, we can also save us the slots then. If we have the slots, we can build something else later then. Um, removing this building and build something bigger. And central right, slots are really good for, example, for the barbershop, for an inn, for, yeah, the minstrel hut. And having these slots is important, saving them. Um, the crypt is there. Having the minstrel slot here makes sense to us, right? Let's have it. And there, our next building is coming up. We still have 1,000 coin left over. And we do have some bracelets again, because we still, we continue uh, working through the night. And the minstrel tent. Takes a bit of time now for this to build. And creating a lot of dust. I hope it's not my bone dust. And it's dawning 
autumn 1402 in Paris. As we can see, it's getting brighter. And yeah, also we have beautiful autumn. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful trees um, in all different colors as we approach autumn now. By the way, weather-wise, we also have a nice winter soon, of course, a snowy white winter that is reducing the productivity, for example, for all the farmers. You can also have summer storms or autumn storms and rainy floods and stuff like that. That is affecting the different professions. So I think with heavy rain, the cemetery digging is not that successful. Anyway, we have our minstrel tent. There we have it. And you're building right here with a nice stage where, can, where my minstrels can then play music and lots of people hopefully come by. There we can see our actions now, play music and present a concert. This is then for the building itself. I'm not doing the concert yet. I rather want to play music. We're going to put this on automated again. Nope, on loop production. Loop production, so it's only going to be this one for now. We still need some people on that. Um, two parts we can already go for. And we might actually go for another one right away. So we have three parts now working here. And as we can see, they're working now for me. They all have been created now as well. Francois we have, Agnès and Arthur. Right, and this guy here, for example, he is 15, um, single, so he has not made anything of him yet. Um, and a lot of charisma, which I guess is important for Bart. And he's, work uh, he's working now, where is he, for example. There he is, playing music at the market, hopefully making some money for us. So it's a bit of a risk there with the bars, because I have no idea how much money they make. We got three of them now. I think my crypt is making enough cash to supply them for now, this investment. There we have at least someone here, Xavier is watching him, listening to the good tunes. I hope he's a good one. Oh, he's a good one it seems. At least he's not bad. And yeah, we made some 12 coin with that little performance there from two people. <laughs> that's it. But that's only one of them. The other one down here made actually 30 coin. More, more than 30 coin. Right? This minstrel here. Um, and they're walking around here now. Francois. Perhaps we have other uses for these gals here then as well at some point. Who knows? We're a grave digger after all still. Right? She's going there now. Yeah. And it's a good thing, I guess. They choose uh, routes where people are. Where people go by. She is not using the backpipe though, she is using a fiddle. <laughs> Alright, and they're playing along now there, making us some cash. Let's just have a look here as well for the transport. How much does it cost to have a transport? 200? We can't just barely afford that, but we can, because with this we could further automate our routes. The good thing about a transport is he chooses um, the most profitable market right away. Let's hire a transporter. And as we can see, Get this ready. transporter now is already starting. We have to choose the storage rules though still. So for the storage rules for our goods, for the re relevant goods, the bone bracelet is the only one that we want to sell. These things here we're not going to sell. Only the bone bracelets. That's important. Otherwise she's selling the raw materials as well. And she's not going in, she's not doing it in Amiens. She's going somewhere else. Can we see how or where? Ready. Where she's going right now? No idea. I hope not too far away. I think just to the, f the neighboring market. And as we can see, she's running by foot. We could have horses and carts that would transport much more. For now, of course, that's not possible because that would cost a lot of money. Um, oh, that's not her. Get ready. That's her. She only has two slots available. This we can unlock with a cart or with a horse and this with a cart then as well. Right now it's only herself though. She, by the way, can purchase that herself once she has enough money from her wages, for example. If she likes, she can purchase a horse for herself. They do that from time to time. Or I purchase her a horse. And that would make it faster for her as well. She's going into Paris, actually. Yeah. She's going into Paris, selling the bone bracelet. She's got 26 bone bracelets. And in in the city, it costs 100. We get 100 from that, as we can see. And in Amiens, only 96 coin. So see, she's going into the city, selling it at a higher price there. And it is a beautiful city. And there 
is the market? Nope, she's not going to this market. That is the market. And we made 2,600 coin with that. So I guess it was worth it, the long trip. And now she's going back home. She could also purchase something now if we need something. Because we're going to need some goods later then as well. But for now, she's just going back home. And that's what, basically what she's doing every day now. <laughs> Traversing that. In the middle of Paris, quite a busy town at the moment. We got some supply ships here now. There's also some trading done with ships. Once we have a dock. But that's for later. And with that, we see each other in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Beautiful game.